Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. In this tutorial, we will discuss how to use Resilience 4J circuit breaker to cascading failure and how to prevent it in microservice world. Okay, alright. This is not something new which we are going to discuss today, but I believe you all are aware about Hystrix and its implementation. So, this Resilience 4J is an alternative of Hystrix which helps us to manage fault tolerance in microservices. Apart from fault tolerance, it also offers a much more convenient API and a number of other features like rate limiter, time limiter, retry mechanism, bulk head and cache mechanism. Okay, we'll discuss each and every features in my upcoming session based on your response. But for now, we'll understand what is circuit breaker pattern and how we can achieve this using Resilience 4J. So without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> In a microservice architecture, it's common for a service to call another service and there is always the possibility that the other service is being called is unavailable or unable to respond. So what can you do when this situation happens? So to understand that, let's take a look at below scenario. There is three microservices application, user service, catalog service and discount service. User service called catalog service to display all available products present in inventory, then catalog service called discount service to check if any discount offer is available for displayed products or not. Okay. So if you observe here, each microservices communicate with each other. Let's assume due to some technical fault or infrastructure related issue, catalog microservice is down. Now if user service will call catalog service, immediately you will get 500 internal server error. Right. Since catalog service is not available, if user service will keep calling catalog service, then he is just wasting its resource, nothing else. Now you might have a question, if that is the case, then in user service, I can handle try catch and I can return error response to the end user. Then why do we need this circuit breaker pattern or resilience 4J or Hystrix, right? But that is not the solution. In microservice world, intermittent failure are common. So we can't predict that catalog microservice will be go down for long time. So we should not stop allowing request from user service to catalog service. We'll keep allow all the requests from user service to catalog service and here what we can do rather than stop processing the request we can set some threshold i mean we'll wait for few more calls if failure rate exceeds that threshold then we'll stop allowing to call that microservices for example let's say i set a threshold as 50 percent if the failure rate exceeds more than 50 percent then we'll immediately stop processing the request okay now let's try to sync our theory understanding with circuit breaker patterns in circuit breaker there are three state closed open and half open by default status will be closed it means electricity is flowing through the circuits in our scenario user service can call to the catalog service right it means both the services up and running let's say i set the threshold as 50 percent it means if 50 percent of call from user service to catalog service will fail then immediately trip will happen and status will be changed from closed to open as you discuss, we have user and catalog service and due to some tech fault, catalog service is down. So user service called first time to catalog service and got the failure response. Similarly, I did five subsequent call to the catalog service and out of five, three call failed and two are succeed. Okay. So if you observe here, failure rate exceeds the threshold. So circuit breaker status will immediately change to open. Now in open state, no electricity is flowing. It means circuit breaker won't allow you to call dependent microservices. And next, here we'll have set up timeout. And once the timeout expired, it will change the status to half open. Let's say we set the timeout as 5 seconds. After 5 seconds, status will immediately change to the half open state. Okay. Now in half open state, it will allow only few calls to go through and check availability of catalog service. If it fails again, then the status will change to open. And if it again uh, find that the catalog service is back online, then status will change to closed again. Okay. This is how circuit breaker design works. So we'll demonstrate this scenario using Resilience 4J in action. So let's begin with our development. Okay. We'll understand these all the three state closed open and half open with code. I will just show you how the state is being changed 
based on the action okay so to save our time already i created two services catalog service and user service i'll walk you through the codes there is nothing complex anyway i'll share this source code link in video description you guys can refer the source code as well okay so if you'll go to the catalog service i just used h2 database which is in memory database and i hard code few order object on application startup to h2 database and i just exposed two rest endpoint one will return all the orders available in h2db and one will return the order based on the category okay this is what the filter now if we'll go to check order repository this is what one method find the category find the order by category and if we'll go to the application.yml file i just added data source properties of uh, h2 database and server port is 9191 now let's verify all the endpoint of this catalog service application is working so for that i will just copy the url slash orders i will go to the browser i will type localhost 9191 slash orders it is giving me all the orders object fine now i just want to filter out based on the category so i will copy this category orders give me all the order object who comes under electronics category i can see there is four record okay so this is what the code of catalog service now if we'll move to the user service in user service we just do a simple rest api call okay this is what the url base url of uh, catalog service and in uh, user service application i just created this rest endpoint to call the api from the catalog service if you can see here if user is giving category then add it otherwise just give the slash orders okay so simple thing if you observe in the api if user will pass the category then it's giving filter the result based on the category if not it's giving all the result right so in the rest api also i did the same thing if user is giving category that's the reason i make it request param to make that url is optional if user is giving this category if it is not null then append the category which is giving by user if not just give the slash orders it will result all the orders if user is giving category it will filter order based on this category and you will get the res uh, response so that's the reason i just used this rest template okay so this is not complex this is straightforward rest call guys you already know uh, even i already uploaded couple of video on the rest call if someone is not aware about it how to do a rest api call you can check out those example so let's quickly check out this particular endpoint whether it is working or not so i will just go to the resource and i will show you the it's running on port 9292 okay let me copy this i will directly go to the postman so let me go to the user service application url is slash user hyphen service then display orders so if you'll give the category it will filter out otherwise it will give all the orders okay so i'll just go to the postman this is what the endpoint here http localhost 9292 slash user service slash display orders now i am not giving any filter here okay i just want to fetch all the orders available from the catalog service so if i'll send the request i can see it's giving me all the result okay let me zoom this you can see here now if i'll filter let's say uh, we'll filter based on this clothes okay i'll just give this command b now if i'll send the request i can see there is only two object it means both the api is working as expected this user service as well as the catalog service now as you understand in our uh, presentation let me forcefully stop this catalog service okay now from the user service if i will hit this catalog service let's try it out to see what error it's giving we are getting 500 internal server error now how we can handle this situation rather than giving this ugly message to the end user i just want to return few available products object even though my microservice or application is down still i want to give some response back to the end user so that my user will keep engaged with my application okay so that is where this resilience for j came into the picture let's implement the resilience for j now okay now to work with the resilience for j first we need to add few dependency 
let go to the pom.xml then let me add few dependency here so i will just add enter here you need to add three dependency actuator spring boot starter aop and if you observe here this is what resilience 4j spring boot 2 okay and the version is 1.5.0 now once you added these three dependency let me update my project reload project so once it update you can start writing your resilience 4g implementation but before that let me tell you the purpose of this actuator dependency to find find out the health of your microservices okay and we are using this aop so that it will keep send the metrics to the actuator so that we can track the circuit breaker status okay and this resilience 4j is just to implement your circuit breaker pattern fine now let me go to this user service application and here what i can do i will just add annotation here circuit breaker then we just need to give the name of your circuit breaker so just type name in name i will just give let's say i can type it here manually otherwise i will just create a constant private or i'll just make it public uh, static static final string user service you can name it user service something like this you can give this name you can give any name here since this is specific to my user service application i just follow this naming convention okay so give this name user service then method of your fallback so if this particular api is failed then which fallback method you want to call rather than showing this ugly message what you want to return that is what you need to define here okay so i will just define a method get all available orders this is what my fallback method name or i will make it products rather than order i will change it to the fine now you just define this method public and make sure to keep the same return type whatever the return type your endpoint contains you need to add the same return type in your fallback method this is one of the interview question you need to understand this okay so it will return list of order detail and you just need to give the same method name get all available products and here you just need to pass the argument as exception e and then i will just hard code few product object which will return when my particular catalog service is down these these are the order object it will return so i will just compare the method name once again fine okay so here with this circuit breaker annotation we tells to the spring boot if this particular display orders method will fail when someone will call it or when this particular method returns error this particular method display order then call this get all available products method okay that is what it's doing now since you defined your service name you need to make that service configuration for resilience 4 in your application.yml file go to application.yml file first let me enable all the endpoint of my actuator i will just add it management health circuit breaker enable true and expose all the web endpoint of actuator okay and endpoint health show details always now next step we just need to configure the resilience 4j related steps i will just add it resilience 4j then this is the implementation of circuit breaker we are not using rate limiter retry or bulkhead we'll cover that in separate session i'll just use the resilience 4j dot circuit breaker okay then give your instance name of your instance if you remember we just define user service right let me copy this name go to your application.yml just define it correctly fine now just define register health indicator make it true then you can define event consumer buffer size make it 10 okay 
now failure rate threshold i will make it 50 it means if 50 percent of request from this particular user service to catalog service will fail then immediately change the status to the open okay that is why i just set the failure rate threshold as 50 and you can also set the minimum number of call i will make it 5 fine now you just want to specify automatic transition from open to half open enable i will tell you let me go to this ppt so as you understand in open state we just set the time time limit as 5 second after 5 second from open to half open this transition will happen automatically okay that's the reason we are just enabling it here so make it true we are giving permission to make automatical transition from open to half open now next you can specify the wait duration in open state i will make it 5 second only 5 second okay after 5 second automatically the status will be changed from open to half open now you, you also want to allow few call in half open state i will i will just specify the number as 3 okay after 3 call from half open state if you go to this presentation in half open state we are allowing 3 call after this 3 call if status is succeed then it will change to the closed if still api is not up and running again it will status will change to the open the result will get fail okay that is what we just set here now you can also specify sliding window size you can make it 10 and then sliding windows type okay there is two type you can find it count based and another one is time based okay for now we'll just use count based this is what the all configuration of resilience for j with this configuration it will manage state of your circuit breaker okay so i hope you understand all the key attribute which you defined in this application.yml file now let me check already i defined the server port that's enough for now so let's quickly restart all these two application user service as well as the uh, catalog service so let me begin with the catalog service let me start it once it will open or once it will start we'll just move into the next user service and we'll start it okay so this flow i am going to explain with the um, actuator endpoint now you, you can see the how the status is getting changed one by one close to open open to half open you will see it now yeah so this catalog service is up now now let's go to the user service and just simply start it so once it will start we'll just cross verify once in postman that from the user service we can able to do the rest call to catalog service okay okay you can see here it's up and running 9292 now let me go to the postman i'll just select this it's giving us the result okay i'll just remove this filter it should give us all the order object present in h2 database that's fine now it's working as expected right now let me show you the circuit breaker status so for that let me go to the browser and i will just type uh, localhost 9292 9292 then the endpoint is actuator slash health okay so it is actuators i guess let me check the endpoint name you can see here the endpoint is slash actuator then go to the h e l t h that is what the mistake i did yeah so if you can see here since both the application uh, catalog service and user service up and running the state is closed okay and buffered call to there is no failed call so far and you can see here everything is okay here now and the status is closed here now what i'll do i'll just forcefully stop this catalog service okay and in catalog service once i stopped it now if i'll refresh this still you can see status is closed closed means it will still allow the call from the user service to catalog service so to show you that what i'll do 
I will just uh, let me let me try it in browser. Okay, let me copy this. This was 9292 from the user service. I was doing REST call to the catalog service. Okay, I'll just enter it. Now, if you see, rather than giving 500 error, it's giving me dummy uh, fallback method response. If you will go and check in the code, go to the user service. Go to the user service application. Let me minimize this. You can see this LED TV, headset, sound bar. These are the object we are getting here, right? These are the object we are getting. Now still if you will check, the status is closed. And you can see here, failed call is 1. So I tried one time and that got failed because it didn't exceed the threshold which is 50% so far now. Now if I will try again, out of 2 call, 2 are fails. Okay? And we are getting those LED response only, not our actual response. Now if I will refresh it, still status is closed and you can see the fail count is 2. I will try again. Now if you will refresh, you can see the status got changed. So if you observe here, buffered call is 5 and there is total 3 call which is failed. So the threshold we set as 50% and out of 3, 3 is failed. So it definitely exceeds the threshold which is 50. Then again status is changed. And now if I will refresh it, status will be changed to half open because if you remember in configuration, uh, if you will go to the application.yml, we just set here wait duration in open state 5 seconds. Okay, so already we crossed that 5 second limit. Now if I refresh it immediately, you can see only half open. Okay, in half open, uh, in open, it just stay for 5 second, then rather uh, again it changed to the half open. Now, if you observe in the configuration, permitted number of calls in half open state 3 call. Okay, after 3 subsequent call, again it will take the decision whether it need to go to the closed state or open state. It will only go to the closed state if the catalog service is online. If not, again it will go to the open state. Okay, I will just do three call in the half open state then I uh, will see the status. Okay, let's go to the uh, browser. Now the status is half open. Okay, I will just do three call. One, two, three. Now if you will come back here and if you will refresh, you can see the status is open. Now if you immediately I will change, status is half open. Because it will just stay for five seconds. I will do one thing. Again I will now, now if you observe, the status is half open here, right? Don't be confused guys, based on this closed uh, half open and open, okay? I am just explaining uh, from the scratch label by showing the state here, okay? So now, the status is in half open. As per the rule, in half open state, we can do three times uh, subsequent call, right? I will just do one, two, three. Now if you will see here, the status will come to open. Now it will just stay for 5 seconds, that's the reason I can't show you properly because while I explained it took more than 5 seconds. Now if I will refresh it, the status is half open. I will do one thing. Now I will just start my catalog service. Okay. I just started it. Meanwhile, let's do the same thing. I will just try for next 3 times. Now if you will check here, the status is now open. Again in after 5 seconds, it will go to the half open. It's already went. Right? So I'll just show you once this catalog service is up. Yeah, it's up now. So now the status of this catalog service is up and running. So here you will find the changes now. Now it's in half open state. As per the configuration, in half open state, not here, go to the uh, catalog service, not sorry, user service. In half open state, it will allow three call. We'll just do a three call. Okay. 1, 2, 3. Now if you will go here and if you will refresh it, you can see the status is closed because your catalog service is online now. Right? Now if you will try accessing the endpoint, you will get the actual response here. You can see here. Right? This is how the status of uh, uh, circuit breaker will be keep changing. Close to open, open to half open. Again from the half open to either open or closed based on your active connection or based on your um, service availability. Okay, this is how this circuit breaker pattern works in Resilience 4J. Let me know in comment section if you are interested to know about other features of circuit breaker like rate limiter, time limiter, this retry mechanism, bulkhead, and cache patterns. Okay, that's all about this particular video, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Meet you soon with a new concept.